So this message is for all my homeowners out there. How y'all feeling? Yeah, y'all got that email yet saying y'all property tax done increased this year? <laughs> yeah, that insurance rate just going up higher and higher, ain't it? Yeah. Welcome to episode two of the Your Best Move podcast. My name is Warrell Thomas. I'm a licensed real estate agent in the state of Georgia, and I make videos just like this one to help make your next move your best move. So in this episode, I'm going to be discussing property taxes. But more specifically, what to expect in the first year of home ownership when you buy a new construction home. I'll provide you with a few tips to help prevent a spike in those property taxes. And understand that this video was actually inspired by a comment that I received on my last podcast. Go check that out if you haven't done so already. So I was talking about the deals that you can get from purchasing new construction homes. And the comment said, wait until that tax bill rolls around for that new construction home. And my response was, if the proper due diligence is done when getting the loan estimate on purchasing that house, then you don't have to worry about a massive spike in your tax bill. Then his response back to me was, I'm talking about other people, not myself, because I bought a home two years ago. Most YouTubers just tell are just telling people to buy when the average person has no idea about the added cost of being a homeowner that's the point okay so here's something they will not tell you when you buy a house or at least they didn't tell me and now i'm salty so when i first bought my house my mortgage payment was one thousand one hundred fifty one dollars after my first year living in that house they raised my mortgage to one thousand five hundred and seventy nine dollars i didn't know that when I was building a home that I was just uh, gonna have to pay taxes off the land. And then when the home is actually built, then you gotta pay taxes on the actual home and the land, which increased my mortgage by $3,000. I didn't know that. Uh, so now my mortgage is increased by $3,000 uh, from what I'm currently paying. You know, and plus you still got all these other expensive and stuff like that. I don't knock buying a home. I think the goal should always still buy a home, but you should be prepared to know what's to come and you know what he's completely right it is up to the agents and the lenders to be clear about what those added costs might be for a new homeowner after all they are trusting us as their trusted advisor to help them through this process so here are my three tips that i'm going to give you to help prepare for purchasing a home and property taxes so number one you need to understand your monthly payment and all that comes with it so I know a lot of times we talk about when you purchase a home, you lock in an interest rate and then you only have to pay that amount for 30 years. But that's only with your principal and interest payment. So when you get an interest rate and they tell you what that principal and interest is going to be, you don't have to worry about that changing unless you refinance your loan. But there's other variables that are included that does change. And that's your property taxes and homeowners insurance. And this is what catches a lot of new home buyers by surprise. It's safe to say at this point that your property taxes and homeowner insurance will fluctuate and most likely they'll go up. So I'll use me as an example. I bought a house back in 2021 and since then my property taxes has gone up about $500 for the year and then my homeowner's insurance have gone up about $40 a month. I think I just got a new bill in regards to the homeowner's insurance and that's changing. Again, these are variables that change all the time. If the home values are going up in your area, then you can imagine that your property tax bill will be affected at some point. We've been having a lot going on with homeowners insurance. You got the hurricanes that happened in Florida. And for some reason, we're feeling the effect of that here in Georgia. Tip number two, you need to understand what your property taxes are based on. When you buy a new construction property, the initial property tax estimate is often based on the land value alone, as the home may not have been fully assessed yet. But once the home is completed and reassessed at the higher value, your taxes will increase. So as your real estate agent, what I would typically do is look for similar properties in the area that was probably built a year or two before and look at their property taxes. Now, it's not gonna be exactly what your property taxes are, but you probably won't have to worry about a big spike compared to just going off of the land value. And your lender should have a good rule of thumb on estimating this as well, where I have seen though, where some lenders would just use the land value or a very low estimate just to get those monthly payments to where they think you'd want it to be. So you have to watch out for that and definitely ask that question. And last but not least, 
explore homestead exemptions, and other tax relief programs. So many states offer homestead exemptions or similar programs for primary residents that lower the taxable value of your home, effectively reducing your tax bill. So in Georgia, for example, you can apply for a homestead exemption that may reduce the assessed value used to calculate your property taxes, especially helpful for owner-occupied residences. So those are my three tips for you to help you with your property taxes when buying a new home. Obviously, if you were a client of mine, we would have talked about this during our buyer consultation and before writing the offer. So I hope this was helpful for you today. And if you did like this content, please like, share, and subscribe to the page. And as always, I'm here to make your next move your best move.